We are ready to test. We have the computer plugged in, the relays plugged in here. We have our OBD2 gauge um, Wi-Fi adapter here. And it might get kind of confusing on a video, but I'm gonna try and make it as uh, simple to understand as possible. We have our battery connection right here, the red. So I have that going to this like little junction area. So right here, we've got the fan relay and our battery connection. Those come together right here. And then we've got another thick wire going to a little battery pack for my cordless drill or ratchet. It's a 12 volt cordless drill. If you're gonna replicate this, be very certain you are using a 12 volt system. It's a little, this is a Milwaukee uh, M12 lithium battery. And make sure you understand what is what, positive and negative, if you're gonna do this. Okay, so that's our battery connection. All right, and then remember here's the engine grommet that goes to the left here. We follow it, it tees right here. And this was our ignition on setup right here. So this ignition on, I just peeled away some of the insulation and I'm gonna touch it right there and it's gonna act as if I turned on the key. So that things like our VSS sensor will trigger, things like our fuel pump will trigger since we have test mode connected and our fans relay will trigger. Now I'm emulating or simulating the load with a little test light. So, okay, so let me slow down here. First, let's take a look at the fan relay. The fan relay, or I'm sorry, the uh, fuel pump relay. The fuel pump relay has this black wire that from the grommet here came to the left. This is from the fan, or the fuel pump relay. See, we got fuel pump there. This guy just has a little, little alligator clip that I have. Connects to this little test light. This test light connects to a ground. Now I'm lucky enough that I pulled this harness for a client that didn't have a harness. So this is start to finish essentially. I was able to plug in the engine connectors into the actual engine harness which contains the major ground. What you have to do is just find the pin on here if you want to replicate this test scenario and, uh, and hook your, your negative up to that connector or you know, wire in there. And from the ground, we go back to the battery. That completes the cycle. So let's test the uh, fuel pump real quick. We're gonna come back, I'm going to connect this. It's going to, you'll start hearing clicks from the fuel pump relay. Hear that? Clicks. Let's go back over here, take a look at our test light. Yep, cycling on and off. So that would be the fuel pump cycling on and off. So the ignition on is connected to the battery and we can test our VSS see if it's operating. So there's a little chunk of metal right here and there's the LED on the VSS. We pass it by the metal and it's going to trigger on. So VSS looks good. Come over here and the Wi-Fi adapter is lighting up so we're good. If we disconnect ignition on it should turn off. There we go, it's off. So now the only other thing we're gonna test is the fans. And I heard that relay clicking as well. So let's connect our test light up to the fan connection. It's this big, thick, black and red cable or wire that goes all the way around to the fan relay. 
So we're gonna watch this test lamp when I connect ignition on. There it goes. So it stays on and clicks off and that's just gonna, it's gonna be a cycle just like that. So the fan relay is working. So that kind of wraps up the test scenario. Um, what I'm gonna do now, the next episode, we're gonna take a look at wrapping the harness. So actually putting the uh, wire looming onto the harness itself. So stay tuned for that.